Hello and welcome back to Buckland Junction. Special day today. I've got a visitor coming to see me. It's Mark. He's been before. Um, so I'll see what he brings this time. So uh, I've had a clean up and we're all ready for him. So uh, let's see how it goes. I'm awaiting on Mark. Back in a minute. So Mark's turned up. We've got one train uh, coming together. What is this, Mark? This is a BR Standard 4. There you go. Uh, engine made by Backman. There That's you an go. older one. Yeah. Um, when, this is not southern region based. It's actually originally started off life on the former London Tilbury and South End line. Okay. Based at Plasto Shed. But oh. as it's one of my dad's f f uh, locos. Yeah. We've decided to bring that for a running session. Yes, yeah, so I'm sure it's going to enjoy it. And this is what we've got on the back five. Uh, BR maroon coaches, so that's the first train made up. So what else we got, Mark? We had troubles with the Backman 4 MT. She just kept coming off and refusing to uh, be good. So we've got what is this, Mark? This is a Hornby H class. Hornby H. Um, one has survived into preservation at the Bluebell Railway in Sussex. Uh, that one is 263. Unfortunately, 308 doesn't exist. Let's say it got scrapped with the rest of the class. All right. The H one survivor is at the Bluebell, which is 263. This is 308, but it's the same, exactly the same local. It, than that. it is a very pretty locomotive. And what we got being pulled along here? Uh, and she's pulling a Backman bird cage brake set. All right. Which is set number 138. Look at that. What a pretty train that is. Oh yeah, you've got a bird cage either end then. I yeah, can see that's that. how they used to run as a complete set of three. Okay. And I think occasionally later on they did put two sets together or mix other coaches in. But that's quite a bit later on, more in grouping days I think, stroke early BR days. Right. Yeah, there's some detail on that, isn't there? There certainly is. That is lovely. Okay, what else we got coming? Wow, the detail. I mean, one of these um, bird cages have been here before, haven't they? They have indeed, but that's yep. actually a full set. It should yep. be. And now we've got what is this, Mark? This is the South Eastern Chatham Railway C class. Class. Mainly designed for goods, which they did pull, but occasionally they would pull passenger trains. Look at that. Uh, this one is 592, which does happen to be preserved at the Bluebell Railway again. Right. And it's pulling a pre-grouping train of wagons. Um, I haven't got a South Eastern Chatham Railway brake van, so I've put a grouping Southern Railway pillbox brake van on there. Lovely. Look at that. Nicely detailed uh, loco with real coal. Real coal? Yeah, real coal. My dad put that on there. Put that on there. He changed the tender fake coal for real coal. Yeah, that is pretty. That is very pretty. And this is a Backman? It's a Backman, yeah. And this is a... The h class is a Hornby. Hornby. Wow, oh, they're very so similar, aren't they? Yeah. You can see both designed by Harry Wainwright. Yes, Wainwright. I can see that by the shapes of the roofs. But, um, Okay, a running, running session coming soon. What else we got, Mark? Next, we've got some more southern region stuff. Look at that. So, what have we got here then, Mark? Right, this is a Backman um, E4 class. Um, again, I hate to mention it, but <laughs> Bluebell Railway... Oh, that's where it's preserved. What, in Sussex? In not Sussex. Kent. Yeah, not Kent. <laughs> Sussex <laughs> out. Um, I think it's the only one preserved, but I must admit I'm a bit not up to date my history on that one. Oh. But it's a Backman model. Yeah. An older one. Um, again, brought by my late dad. Okay. And the coaches? Um, and the coaches are Hornby Mansell Corridor coaches. Oh, they're very nice. Did you bring these last time or not? No. One of them? No, no. No, no. you're remembering, <coughs> sorry, excuse me, the London South Western, or ex London South Western, rebuilt by Mansell Coaches. Right. Look at that. 
And that's not all, there's something else he's holding in. Another surprise he's going to put on the tracks. Okay, running session coming very soon, look at that. And this is the uh, fourth rake. It's definitely a southern, southern region day today. And look at that. So tell me, Mark, what have we got here? Right, and this is the Hornby M7 with some Hornby bullied coaches. Um, you'd be pleased to know this one isn't preserved at the Blair Bell. Um, <laughs> there is, I think there is at least one M7 preserved on the Swanage. I can't remember if there's any more preserved or not. Okay. Well, you're the driver, so... Um, you know which way the controllers are now, so should we start we with hope. this one first? This is all un all unrehearsed, so please forgive us if we've got any misdemeanours. Okay, take her away, Mark. That's that one. That tree's away. The three beautiful carriages on. <clears throat> now, for is this the Wainwright? Yeah. Um, Ready when you are, mate. Oh, that's all right. She's cool. That's lovely. Beautiful running coaches. Hmm. Excuse my fingers. Ah. Oh. So we're out. It's alright. It's alright. Oh dear. Oh dear. Butter fingers is here. Never mind. <laughs> it does help if you've got to control that one. And I've probably done it the wrong way. No, no, no. No, you got it. You got it. She's away. Oh, this is going to be interesting. She seems happy, she gets past this uh, junction. No, she's not. Ah, we're missing a few coaches. Hang we're on a minute. Missing coaches. Oh, good timing. Oh, beautiful engine. I have to use the Terrier as a banking engine because uh, the 044 don't like my inclines. It's just wheel spinning too much, so we've got the Terrier helping her out. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, we'll have to wait a moment. I can clip the empty bits out. This is where she was struggling up this incline here. And she's all right now with the uh, little terrier in front, giving it some uh, extra beans. Lovely, lovely. Hmm. Nice realistic speed you've got there. Sorry? It's a good strain so it will run slower. Yeah. Too far, yeah. It? I'm always getting blamed for uh, running too fast. We've got the double header here. Oh, 
Lovely. <laughs> we lost two coaches. Well, I'll bring them to see you. Okay. She in the tunnel? Yes. Hello. More trouble? See if I can do a full lap with this one. Oh, I took the camera off and then it turns up. Always the way. Alright, let's go for it again. Oh, good timing, good timing.
to go a long way to disappoint oh wow you really have wow well, thanks for that mark how beautiful engines well you've got some beautiful rolling stock not a triang in sight look at that <laughs> wow the detail you don't get this with triang you know <laughs> How old are these, Mark? I can't remember, to be honest. Um, after 2000. Yeah, yeah, definitely yeah. after 2000. Um, when did they release them? I can't remember off the top of my head. No, I'm sure the aficionados can look it up. Yeah. But I can't remember off the top of my head. No, they are lovely. Um, An up-to-date um, truck. Excellent up to date, uh, well, fairly up to date. Yeah. Back, and a Backman wagon. A Backman wagon, yeah. yeah. And this is a Triang mid 60s, so I'm not sure how far we've come. We have come, but uh, yeah. No, they are nice wagons, I say. Mid 60s. What is about 2020? No, not that new. No. Um, so I think somewhere between 2010 and 20, or it could have been between 2000 and 2010, I'm not okay. sure. Well, all good things must come to an end. So we've had a running session. Yes, we've had a few problems, but we've had some fun. I thought I'd give you a nice little look at this uh, beautiful rake of carriages. There you go. Well, thanks for coming, Mark. It's been really good. I've enjoyed the uh, running session ever so much. I've got some great uh, footage and some nice stills. So thanks for coming, Mark. And uh, what are you bringing next time? <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> okay, that's um, Mark and Alan in the loft. So that's ours. Out. Look at this for a detail. Door handles, strange couplings I've never seen before. But wow, what a beautiful coach. Beautifully done. Here we go then. Well, cheers Thanks. for coming, Mark. Thank it's been you very for good. Me, yeah, I've enjoyed it. And, I've enjoyed uh, it as well, despite our. Uh, looking forward to the next run. Yeah. So, uh, we've had. Not a bad running session at all, it's just a shame that the uh, misbehaviours and uncouplings kept happening. But <laughs> other than that, I've had a good time. Thank you again, Al, for inviting me you're around. You're welcome, you're welcome, mate. And so hopefully we'll see you at my place. And I'm in front of the camera so, and so are you, how about yeah, that? Terrible, isn't it? Take care, people. Alan and Mark, out. Well, I suppose I should say thanks. Um, I've reached a thousand subscribers. I never, ever thought I would. So, uh, yeah, that's Alan saying thanks from Buckland Junction. I've had a good day today with Mark running some really lovely trains. We have had a few issues, but, uh, yeah, a thousand subscribers. Who would believe it? Cheers. Um, yeah, more to follow. Um, can't wait to get more of this scenery done. So, uh, winter's coming. More from Buckland Junction soon. Take care. Goodbye. Aren't out. Well, there we go. I've made it. 1002. My first film was on the 4th of October last year. So it's taken 11, just over 11 months to uh, get 1000 subscribers. So cheers everyone. Uh, again, Alan out.